Hi everyone, it's Dave from Geekanoids and I'm in front of the camera for a change. I haven't spoken direct to you for a long time, so I thought it was about time I sat in front of the camera and just covered off a couple of things for you. Now, in the first half of this video, I just want to be talking a little bit to you about the iPhone 4 issues, plus something interesting that's happening tomorrow. And then the second half of this video, I've got some very important sort of questions. I need some viewer feedback and I hope you can help me out with some comments to let me know what you think. So please do stay tuned for the second half of this video. Now, iPhone 4, we all know that there has been a lot of uh, noise being made about the iPhone 4 signal issues. You only need to type into Google like I have here and you get about 12,600,000 results on iPhone 4 signal issues. Now, I showed you in my own video of the iPhone 4 what happens when you touch that lower left hand corner or the little break in the stainless steel band and you do get signal issue drops. Now, loads of videos on YouTube, people experiencing the same thing, um, so the evidence is definitely there that there is a problem when you touch this lower left hand side of the iPhone 4. Now, Apple's initial response was not to hold it like that. They then followed this up with various things like offering up bumper cases to alleviate the issue and they've also said that the algorithm that they use to show the bars on the screen of the iPhone 4 is in fact incorrect so they're doing a software fix for this. Well Engadget brought something to my attention this morning and that is that Apple are holding a press conference tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time so that's going to be around about 6 p.m. UK time and they're going to be covering off some iPhone 4 announcements. Now, my predictions as to what this is going to cover is definitely they're going to be announcing how brilliant the sales have been because they have sold millions of the iPhone 4. They're also going to be announcing availability of the white iPhone 4. So for all those of you who've been waiting for the white version, they're going to be telling us when that is going to be available. And then they're going to be addressing this iPhone 4 signal issue. Now hopefully they will admit that there is a problem, albeit at software level. I'm hoping that they come clean and say, yep, yeah, they have got a slight hardware problem as well. And I think they will not be doing a recall. I think that would be a big mistake for them. What they are likely to do is to offer something like a free bumper case and maybe a $100 or £100 uh, credit against the purchase price and maybe that will compensate people enough for having to fit a case to their iPhone 4. I do also think that maybe in about a month to two months time we will see a revision B iPhone 4 with a slightly revised internal design to it that alleviates the problem. So tune in to the Geek and Noise channel tomorrow round about midday Pacific time and later on in the evening probably about 7 or 8 p.m. in the UK and I'll be bringing you another video just with my views on what Apple have actually announced at this press conference. Now on to the second part of the video and this is where I need you guys to give me some feedback. This is my channel page, you're all familiar with it. I upload a lot of videos to YouTube, over 500 videos on there now and over 8,000 subscribers so thanks very much to everyone who rates the videos, who comments and also thanks to everyone who subscribed to the channel, it really does help me out a lot. Now the question I've got for you is a little bit difficult, I mean I've been mulling over this particular thing for a couple of weeks now, a lot of sleepless nights not knowing what to do. I've been actually considering recording an extra four premium videos, so maybe videos that are a little bit longer and give some more in-depth views into the tech world, maybe some interview based videos and just something that gives you a little bit extra value. Now these four premium videos, I want to just propose to you two ways of me doing it. Just give me some feedback, comment in the comments below and let me know what you think. Now I could do a premium subscription rate, so something like 99 cents or $1.99, which is about 59 pence to round about sort of £1.29 per month and that would give you access to these premium rate videos. So 
let me know what you think. Would you pay to see four extra videos a month if they were really extra special? The same quality that I already put onto my YouTube channel, but just with some maybe behind the scenes stuff that you don't normally get to see. Now the other way of me doing it is to keep these four extra videos completely free and put them on the YouTube channel as normal. Now if I did this, then how would you feel about donating just a one-off donation of something like two or three pounds in the UK or maybe five dollars in the US? Now you obviously don't have to donate anything, I just, I just really need some feedback and the reason I'm asking this is that I put a lot of work and a lot of time into doing the videos and everyone needs to earn money. I need to earn money to feed my family, to pay for electricity, to pay for uh, the technology I use to create the videos such as computers and camcorders and things like this, for memory cards and also I'm um, having to pay a lot more for my hosting of the website because of the bandwidth that's used every month and also I'm looking at somewhere to actually host the videos uh, with a little bit better speed and maybe a new player skin around them. So just some feedback really would be really really appreciated. Nothing's going to change here so rest assured keep watching the Geek and Noise channel You'll still get your five, six or seven videos per week from me as normal, completely free uh, to watch. But it would just be really interesting to learn from you guys if you would be prepared to pay or if you will only watch the videos if they're free. So just be honest, keep it clean, no swearing, and I'll be back with you tomorrow with this iPhone 4 update. So until tomorrow, have a great day.